I am Anil Kumar. In my series to understand trigonometric functions limits, I have a very interesting question for you. Here we will evaluate limit for trigonometric functions. Uh, we have three examples. The first one is limit when theta approaches infinity for sine pi by 4. And then we need to find limit when theta approaches 0 for 2 minus cos 2x. And then we have limit when theta approaches pi by 2 for sine theta minus cos theta. Now let's try to sketch the very first function. Sine pi by 4. Now these questions are simple but they are very confusing. What is sine pi by 4? When I say sine pi by 4, it is always positive and the value is, is 1 over square root 2. Right? So this is always uh, 1 over square root 2 or you can say square root 2 over 2. Now since it is always this, then we are sure whether theta approaches positive infinity, the value will always approach 1 over square root 2. Right? So at times you can rationalize this. Right, so multiplying by square root 2, you could also write this as square root 2 over 2. So that becomes the limit for this function. This is a constant function, right? Looks like trigonometric function, right? So it is a trigonometric function, but for a specific value. So basically it is y equals to 1 over square root 2. So you could say this is y equals to 1 over square root 2, correct? So that gives you the limit for this particular function. I hope you find it interesting. Now the next one here is to find limit when theta approaches 0. All these are in radians. Okay. So in this case, the first step is always to substitute and check. Now since these are continuous functions, we could always do that. Correct. So let's figure it out. So it is 2 minus cos of 2 times will substitute 0 here. 2 times 0. So which is equals to 2 minus cos 0 and we know cos 0 is 1 so it is 2 minus 1 and so the limit is 1 so right so we have this answer so the limit of this function is equal to 1 okay now these are very important basic questions in most of the trigonometric functions limits you will simplify to such and then substitute and get your answer correct so that's the whole idea okay let's do this one so limit when theta approaches pi by 2 for sine theta minus cos theta. Let's substitute. What do we get? We get sine of pi by 2 minus cos of pi by 2. Okay. okay. Now what is sine of pi by 2? Sine of pi by 2 is 1 and cos of pi by 2 is 0. So we get 1 minus 0 which is 1 and the answer for part C is equals to 1. Okay. So that is how you can find limit of these trigonometric functions. Now in first three questions we have found the limit by direct substitution or looking at the graph. Now we'll get into examples where uh, sometimes trigonometric functions may be simplified to find the limit. Uh, okay I hope till now things are absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar. You, are, you should feel free to share your questions and comments. Subscribe to get my videos. Thank you and all the best.